mini pop, it's a tiny sitcom. This is our opening song. without you. We should have coffee sometime next. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you. Bye. All right. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. God, what a nice janitor. <laughs> oh, hi. You must be Kyle, my new office mate. Or I'm Vicky. I'm your new office mate. I guess that's a better way of putting it because you're already here and I'm new, right? <laughs> oh my God. I'm so sorry. That was rude. Uh, proper introduction. Hello. My name is Victoria Maria Spirello, but my friends call me Vicky. And from what I understand from this memo I received from Human Resources, I'm going to be sharing the office with one Kyle Haggerty, and I sure hope that's you. I'm going to have to do this whole darn thing over again, and that'll be the dang diddliest thing that's happened to me today. <gasps> oh my God. This isn't a surprise, is it, that I'm going to be your new office mate? <laughs> I'm going to be your new office mate? You don't even know? That would be awkward on top of embarrassing, on top of... Oh, I don't know what else it would be. But you know what? I found from the experience that if I'm searching for a word or I've lost my train of thought, I can just keep talking my way into finding the word or remembering what it is if that happened to be the case so that if I do come to the end of a sentence and I can't think of the mortifying, that's what else it would be. Awkward, embarrassing, and mortifying. And I certainly hope it isn't any of those things because if you are Kyle, we're going to be working together for a long, 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 are you Kyle? <laughs> yes. <sighs> Welcome to Dax Masters. <laughs> <laughs> well, why don't you just go ahead and put your stuff here? Why don't I just go ahead and put my stuff here on this desk? Because obviously there are only two desks in your office like that one. So it would make perfect sense that I use this one, which is great. Because this desk is facing north, and north is a really good direction for me. Because when I think of north, I think of up, like moving up in my career, or up in life, or just keeping my spirits up, which is important, I think, for everyone, but like especially for me, because I am prone to serious bouts of seasonal depression, which is no fun for me or anyone else around me. So who's the lucky duck today? Northward facing Vicky, that's who. God, Kyle, you're really quiet. Can I got your tongue? Uh, what? Wow. <laughs> I was, uh, I was working. I was trying to work. We had a lot of returns come in late this year, so I was working on them. Now I have a headache. <gasps> oh my god, I have just the thing for that. Uh, I don't know if you believe in traditional medicine or Eastern medicine, or are you a part of one of those Orthodox religions that doesn't believe really in medicine? Yet if you do, I think I have this thing here. It's extra strength and it's. Could you just be quiet? <laughs> Sorry, Kyle. I completely burst in here without any thought of your feelings, and I will stop talking, I promise. But first, you have to let me make it up to you. Please just tell me what I can do to make it up to you. I did. I did tell you what to do. I asked you to stop talking, and you didn't do that. What's wrong with you? I don't know. Do I talk a lot? No one's ever mentioned that to me before. Because they never had a chance. Oh, my God. Are you telling me that there's something wrong with me, and I didn't even know it? I feel like I'm having like a really strong reaction to this, but what if I do have like a mental disease or a mental disorder and I didn't even know it? I feel like you Please, my God, it's like you're stabbing my ears with your mouth. <laughs> really? I have never been spoken to that way in my entire life. There was this one time I was in Brisbane. Quit it or I will kill you. I will. I will pick up this laptop, shove it into your mouth, go into that supply closet, get 12 rolls of duct tape, wrap it around your flappity jabbery jaws, and I will kill you, you ear fucker. That was a very mean thing to say. It was. I was trying to tell you how I was feeling, and it came out more murderous than I did. <laughs> but I don't want you to respond to it. What I really <laughs> What I, I Okay, I don't think this is gonna work. Okay? 
I only took this job for the extra cash, but you know what? I don't think I want it anymore. In fact, I'm sure that I don't. I would rather maintain high levels of credit card debt with bad interest rates. So you know what? Have the office and have a nice life. Goodbye. Good oh! oh! <laughs> wow, Vicky, you sure did not make a good impression. Maybe you are a talker. Well, maybe. Yeah, of course you are. You are a talker, girl. You talk to yourself. You talk to yourself right now. But you know what? I've heard that people who talk to themselves really are happier than other people. And it doesn't mean that you're crazy. It just means that you're happy.